What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. So today is Yerin and Yewon Day. You guys said in the comments that you call them the Ye sisters. It's so funny because I learned something new every time. Just don't let Kanye West hear that though. So I already planned to listen to Umji's cover of the song Lemon. But you guys mentioned that Yerin is coming out with new music next month. So I figured, hey, maybe I'll do a two for one and check out Yerin's song from her first debut album I believe and uh kind of get familiar with what her vocal color and sound sounds like because the only thing I know is really from G Friend so I am excited about that one so regarding Lemon I haven't heard the song in such a long time but I, I have heard a couple of different covers in the past um some from Jungkook or BTS and many other like artists and idols so I know this is gonna be a good one because I already love Umji's voice. So I am ready to ascend because I know she's gonna come through. But let's go. Okay, she must speak Japanese really well because like her, I mean, not that I know much about Japanese, but she seems like she's enunciating her words properly and stuff. So do I feel like a lot of idols like speak Japanese? Is that like part of the training because they promote in Japan as well? Let me know. <laughs> Oh my god i need to breathe like this is so good i was so captivated from the start i was just like i need to see this through to the end but i'm just like i need to see something about this like she is doing so well and i love the the look of it like there's no fuss going on she's just sitting on a chair and delivering like the song in so much sincerity i love it so much let me pull that back
I, I know this is random, but when she said the line, like, it's hard for me to breathe. And then, like, the video kind of got blurry with the, I think, with the fog or the smoke. I don't know how you call it. Like, I felt like I was trying to catch my breath. So I think that was beautifully done. Let me go back to it and see if I can, like, if you guys can see what I'm, you know, talking about. Right here. That was so freaking good. I'm literally, I know I can't really show it on the camera, but like I'm literally have goosebumps like watching this whole thing. It's it's ridiculous. Oh my God. She literally gave me goosebumps throughout this video. Like the way she conveys the feeling of like innocence and being genuine and sincerity. And I really like that her voice is not overly colorful. You know how sometimes people are like, well, there's no vocal technique and runs and stuff. But I feel like music or singing is so much more than just that. Sometimes it's just about the emotion that you evoke out of the people listening. And I think she did a wonderful job. Yeah, I was not disappointed. So I I definitely ascended. <laughs> definitely ascended throughout the song. All right, guys. Now check out earrings. Huh? I was going I'm kind of nervous about this one because I don't even know what genre it is and I, I'm not very familiar with hearing sound so am I gonna be shocked? I don't know. I don't think I can be shocked because I don't even know like what her typical sound is besides what she sung in G-Friend so... That'd be dropped. So she says, like, erase my appearance. Wait, let me see if I can find the actual lyric. Erase the appearance that you've drawn of me. So is this kind of like she's coming out with her new stuff she's like hey what you knew about me from g friend not that it was completely different but she has she's more than that so don't put her in a box because she's about to come out and show all her other colors that's kind of how i interpret that let me know if i'm on the right track with that because i do not know the uh the insight <laughs> Oh, I love 
love about her yellow fit. Wait, it's already over? Oh, this is only two minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so it's a pretty short one, huh? Wow, okay, well, let's break it down. So the song was a very easy to listen dance track, which again, for me, for you guys may have been a surprise. I don't know if it was surprising for you guys, but for me as a first time listener of Yearing, like I, I enjoyed it very I love the instrumentals the beat you know everything was like pretty flowy I feel like maybe this was kind of like a teaser into her new life her new music and everything because it's I feel like it was just too short it was really too short to really get into the song to be honest because when she sings that chorus na 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 like by the time you're like trying to like sink in, then it just goes into the chorus. Aria, yeah, aria, yeah. Like, and I wanted to like bop to it a lot longer. But I think for me, that's like one of the only like negatives about the song that it was too short. Secondly, again, I thought her voice sounded really well. I don't know why I felt like she had a lot more vocal like colors, vocal colors in her voice. Um, from when I've heard from what I've heard from her in G Friend. So maybe I was expecting her to use a lot more like vocal techniques on the song and everything but i just didn't hear that but overall i think it's a good song i'm sure it's a good party dance song so good stuff i'm pretty excited to uh, listen to her new stuff next month again i don't know what because this is her third mini album right so i don't know like what her other stuff has sounded like um have they been the same genre have they been like kind of like different with r&b and pop and ballads and stuff um, you'll let me know yeah so i think i'm gonna continue my g friend journey and bbg journey uh side by side i know it's been it's been kind of a while since i last listened to g friend i think the last song i listened to was fingertips so i need to go back and dig into my archive and see where i ended and what i need to listen to next hope you guys had a good time watching this with me again i will see you guys next time bye